In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I like to run the air raid staple shallow cross out of five wide, specifically from my Pittsburgh Steelers five wide offense out of the empty tray stack. What is going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, in this video, like I said, we're going to be going over the shallow cross uh, series, the shallow crossing route, and really my pr favorite way to run this in Madden. I love this out of five wide. This is a very, very fun play to run, especially because of the vertical concepts and the vertical tags that we can put in this play to make it really successful against any defense that there's a run, whether it be match coverage, cover three, man coverage, doesn't matter. You're going to have really good routes with this. Now, before we go too far into the video, I want to let you know that if you want to get my five wide out of the Steelers playbook, the gun empty tray stack scheme, that is going to be linked down in the description. The way you get that is by joining my true fan membership, which is just $5 for just $5 a month. You'll be able to get um, all the new schemes that I put into that every single week, new defenses, new offenses, updates to old schemes, as well as pro player features and breakdowns. So if you want to get a really high level in-depth knowledge base, for Madden 22, that's the best place to start, in my opinion. And um, this is also a route combination that we're going to be breaking in in our route concept guide uh, or our route concept encyclopedia. If you've not gotten the route concept encyclopedia, I'm going to leave a link down there in the description to that video or, or to that guide as well. That's really my favorite resource for you. If you're looking to get better at Madden, True Fan Membership is probably the best one for the long term. The Route Concept one is the best one that can get you better within a week or two. Uh, it's really, really good, really effective. It basically breaks down different route concepts that you can apply to any formation. So if you want to get either one of those, they're linked down in the description below. And today we're going over Fade Out as Shallow Cross. Now, um, this is, honestly, this is probably my favorite play in the game right now because it's so good um, and so consistent. I would recommend Hot Route Master if you want to run this to its fullest potential. You don't have to have it. We're going to go over probably two to three ways to run this so that you can be successful whether you have Hot Route Master or not. So the first way that I like to run this is a really good way for you to attack the cover three Mabel defense. It's really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to streak the R1 receiver and we're going to drag the square receiver. And what we're going to do is whenever we drag the square receiver, I personally really do enjoy um, just leaving him like this because you're going to see it's going to get him off the press man coverage. If you want to, you can also motion him outside just like this. Those are two options. But if you get a cover three look, this uh, R1 receiver is going to get wide open against the cover three for an absolute laser. This is one of the best cover three uh, beaters that I've found at this point in the season because it looks just like four verticals and typically their user is going to go defend the X receiver. He's not going to go vertical and defend the R1 receiver. So because of that, we can now attack that cover three on the cover three side or on the strong side of the defense. As you see right here, right up the skinny, easy read. And if you have a fast receiver and you have gunslinger, that's going to be a really good throw. Now, real quick word of warning. If you're going to run that route in Madden, you need to be practicing throwing that route. You need to be getting in the lab, maybe play a practice game of regs or something that you don't care to lose so that you can test that over and over and over again, because it is a hard throw and you're not going to make it every single time. And I can't stress how important it is to restreak the R1. If you don't restreak him, it's not going to work. The second read on this is always this little drag route. This route right here is the route, really the whole reason we run this play, it's the primary route that we wanna be able to hit every single time. It's the route that we must make go. It's the route that we will make go. It's the route that we are gonna run again and again and again. This is the route that I wanna throw every single time. This route is really how I know we had a lot of success. As you can see right here, it's just simple. It's five to 10 yards, it's really easy. You get the ball out of your hands into the field of play. And what I like about this is, let's say that they are running Mabel coverage, and let's say that they do go up the, up the seam vertically, or they really try to get up field on what we're doing. Well, what you're gonna see happen is you're gonna have a lot of room now to be able to throw this ball to the square receiver because the middle of the field is now wide open and I can throw that ball in that pocket. I can also throw this ball at several different points 
within this play. I can throw it early. I can throw it late. I can throw it against the blitz. I can throw it against max coverage. I can playmaker the route if I want to. That is really why I absolutely love this route. I think this route is so critical to your success as a player. Now, the next thing that I want to go over is um, how you can throw this route late. So the cool part about throwing this route late in the play is you can wait all the way over to this point, and as you can see, you can still throw this with a lot of success. Now, like I said, I want to go over an option for you if you don't have Hot Run Master. Traditionally, what I like to do is I like to put the tight end or the X receiver on a post route. If you don't have Hot Route Master, just put him on a smart routed dig route, and what's going to happen is their user is going to have to choose, am I going to guard the drag or am I going to guard the dig? You still have this amazing streak wide open over the seam, maybe even more so with a dig route than you do with that crossing route. That crossing route is good. It's a really good route, but it's not the best for holding the user. In fact, the best route for holding the user, and the reason why I like, or not just user, but holding the defense and holding um, that third is a is a uh, post. You see this post coming across the formation. The reason I like the post the best is because it gets in the most unique spot of the defense that the user absolutely has to defend. If their user decides to sit on this drag, you are going to have so much fun throwing this post route over and over and over again. So again, just simply motion out. And what you'll see here is we get all of these zones sucked inside and the post route is wide open every single time. The other reason why I really like the post route, if I can at all possibly get it, is it is a phenomenal, and I do mean phenomenal, man beater. If they are playing man coverage on you and you run this post route, this post route will always get separation uh, against man-to-man -man coverage. Even if it doesn't look like it has separation, he'll post them up and get it every single time. If you have a if you have a fast receiver um, or like a like a Calvin Johnson type of player there, he will get really good separation as well. Now, while we're talking about man coverage, what you'll see here uh, with this with this square receiver is when you put him in motion, um, or when you if if they're running press man to man, let me just show that real quick. If they're running press man to man, they give you a look like this right here. This is a great time to fade the uh, triangle receiver. So just put him on a simple fade route, and what you'll see is you'll get this free release to the square, and it'll actually create a man switch, which is really really hard for your opponent to deal with. Because what that's going to mean is let's say that they go press man, but let's say that they want to roll this guy to the middle of the field to try to stop any of those routes. Well, what's going to happen at that point is you're going to get this right here where the triangle receiver, once he gets off the jam and they kind of glitch out, is going to get over the top for an absolute laser against cover zero. So it's a great way to be able to deal with press man to man. If you don't want the complexity of having to deal with that, I understand that. What I would recommend that you do in that situation is I would simply just recommend, okay, let's go back to the motion amount. You've got a natural kind of pick and rub happening, and this motion snap is going to be just fine for you anyway. You're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man with this. That drag is always going to be there for you in man-to-man -man as long as you motion him out. Um, and so you've got a lot of potential with this concept. If they run cover two on you, let's say they run, uh, let's say they run kind of like a cover two Mabel, and they put that deep middle third in the field. This is where I really, really love this circle receiver on his route. You're going to see that that circle receiver is going to have a ton of opportunity to be able to get open against this. You see here, I'm just and I, I made a really bad, um, made really bad pocket presence right there. But let me just show this one more time. Let me grab my controller. Um, what you're going to see here. Whoops, is if they go Tampa 2, and if they drop that middle linebacker in the deep blue, so now they've got a little bit extra underneath defenders, basically is what's happened. They have a little bit of extra underneath defenders. What you should see is if they get if they go cover two on that right side, I'm just pass leading circle to the right side, and I'm getting over the top of the cloud flat as soon as I possibly can. This is a very consistent cover two beater. Cover two does not stand a chance, especially on the left side of the field. This is why I love this route two triangle because what I'm gonna get is I'm gonna get this little switch action and that wheel route on the left side um, is going to really pull the zone back and leave so much opportunity for that post route. Again, I have the defense absolutely, no matter what coverage they are in, they have to respect the tight end route. If they don't respect that tight end post, it, it's going to be a long day for them. Now, I did say, like I said in the beginning, if you don't have a tight end post route, put him on a dig route. 
you're going to see that that wheel route is still going to pull the zones up, and I can still throw that in route in behind the purple. Now, it's not as good as the post route. It's not ideal, but if I don't have hot route of master or tight end apprentice or slot apprentice or whatever I need over there, that's okay. I can still go to some other, I, I still have something that I can use. One last little pro tip about this is if you want to put this streak out here to Godwin and they're running a lot of cover three before we get to the match defense, you can inside pass lead this, but it's not super clean, unfortunately, because of the drag. There is a window to throw it, and I'm going to try to show it to you here in just a second, um, but it's not as good uh, when you use a drag route. The drag route brings the zones inside, unfortunately, which is a little bit of a, a, little bit of a challenge. But if I just wait long enough, you see here that the, the middle safety is coming over at that point as well. Now, what I will tell you is this is why I love, if they're going cover three, if they're going cover three, you should almost always have an absolute laser to that slot receiver. This works whether he's on a post, whether he's on an in route, or whether he's on uh, that original crossing route. If they're in cover three, that safety is going to get pulled out of the middle of the field. And as you can see, we're going to beat that safety over the middle for an absolute laser against cover three. So typically, there's not as big of a need to have that seam route. If you want to have that seam route, you basically need to leave the out route up there, which we've talked about uh, before on our YouTube channel. Now I want to show you why I absolutely love this play, specifically for what it does to match coverage. Um, now, if your opponent is running a lot of match coverage, I really want to advise you in this video, make sure you leave the R1 receiver on the route that he's already on. Do not put him on a fade or a streak. Leave him on his angled streak from the play fade out. But what you're going to see against match coverage is you're basically going to have an automatic one play touchdown every single time. R1, and of course, as I say that, Brady gets a throw to sack and gets intercepted thanks to the instant sheds within practice mode, which Madden really needs to fix because this is it doesn't help anybody get better. But anyways, let me just show this one more time. So all I'm doing is that same adjustment. I'm just motioning out my drag route. But I want you to watch R1 over the top, absolute laser, one play touchdown against cover four match every single time. If they run match coverage, R1 is wide open. Now, I'm going to show you everything is going to look the same. The only difference is going to be that I'm going to now put R1 on a streak, which is what I was doing in the first place anyway. And when I put R1 on a streak route, what you're going to see here is they do actually leave the tight end open in this because of the shallow crossing route, but that's not as open as the R1 receiver. Ideally, they would leave the R1 receiver open over the top for a one-play touchdown. Now let me show you the same concept um, with a post route to the tight end just to show you that works because I was showing the crosser. Let me show you the post. This is the post route. You see the post route is going to work even better. As you see over the top, there's no one within probably 10 yards of him. And as you can see, it's a one play touchdown every single time against cover four. So what this is going to mean, and this is what's really important, is their user, who is likely to be Edwards, is going to go up the seam with the R1 route. And so what that's going to mean is now your shallow crossing route is going to have a lot of room to work underneath. Look at all this grass he has to be able to work. He makes one guy miss, and he's going to have you know several yards. Obviously, um, if we wanted to, we could have hit him way sooner than that. Let me show you that again real quick. So again, just post. Um, you still, you're still going to have your posts. You're still going to have all of those things. But look at there. There's no one there. That's an easy automatic 10 to 15 to 20 yards right over the middle of the field. So you can beat man. You can beat zone. You can beat match defense uh, with this concept. Now, this also works um, as we talked about with the dig. So if I have a dig on that tight end, uh, I put him on a smart route and in route. You're going to see here, same exact result. One play touchdown over the top at a cover four quarters. So this is honestly right now at this point in the game my favorite passing concept and the reason why is because of how simple it is it really is the most simple thing in the world to execute and it just really tags vertically it really stretches the defense it uses the whole field and that's why i love this concept so if you want to learn my entire five wide empty trace stack offense be sure to learn that in the true fan membership it's literally just five bucks a month you can cancel whenever you want so if you just want to buy it and then cancel it um, you certainly can do that as well, but it's a great opportunity for you to get better at the game. We don't just post offensive videos. We post offense, defense, 
and pro player breakdowns over there on that. Really an exclusive platform for us to do a deep dive into the game. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to become a true fan of the channel, the link is down in the description.